Welcome to the channel. Thank you for watching the video. If you guys are enjoying Ratchet and Clank Quest for Booty, make sure you give the video a like. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll catch you guys in the game. The smuggler was true to his word. So with the fulcrum star within his grasp, and without even stopping at a pub, our hero sailed off into the night. His destination? Adventure! Jeez. Laying it on a bit thick, hey eh, Pete? Are you sure you want to go in there, friend? These ears have heard some mighty disturbing stories about this old island. That star is my only hope of finding Clank. I'm not leaving Mardi Gras without it. Mardi Gras? I feel like that's a play on things for Mardi Gras. We about to be parting with the pirates. Right, but I couldn't let my favorite customer go without a little extra firepower. Now, why don't you take these weapons? I just found them floating out near Hulafar Island. Did he really confiscate our weapons? <laughs> I wonder where they went. Okay, so it looks like you can't buy weapons, they just give them to you. Which I guess makes sense. This seems like a different game than normal Ratchet and Clank stuff. Since you can actually choose your own dialogue, which I, I don't know why they didn't continue that. I actually think that's pretty cool. Oh, look at that background, man. So cool looking. Alright, where'd she go? Who be the greedy soul that dares set foot on Darkwater Cove? State thy name, and pray it's reached long years before. Dread Pirate Ratchet. Uh, why do I feel like... I, I feel like any of these could really work. Well, let's go with this one. Captain, is it possible? You don't look like him. But it's been a long time. And my eyes aren't what they once were. If you really are, Darkwater, prove yourself. And fight like him. I'm not supposed to fight like him. I don't have a sword. One good zap and they gone. And I love this thing. Bravo, Captain Bravo. If I had arms, I'd be clapping them. Welcome home, you soap. Come right in. Well, thank you. Great. I was just thinking I could do with more booby traps. What the heck is this thing? I just felt some weird things going down. Ah, oh, that must be what it is. Ah, uh, I have no idea where I'm supposed to go first. I'm just gonna kind of move around, get a feel for things. I guess I didn't really need to space them out that much. I thought I was going to have to move them, uh, so I could, like, leapfrog over. That should be good enough. Oh, I need one more. I want to fight them all, but I can't. Hopefully these guys don't stop glowing. <laughs> That'll be a bad thing for me. Now what is this guy? Oh, 
Oh, see, he's a bartender. Hey, this facility is reserved for Captain Nystrom Jerkwater. Or me, Darkwater. Fix me a drink, and he <clears throat> may pass. <laughs> I don't think he likes his captain too much. It's simple. I give you the ingredients in an unnecessarily cryptic and bizarre fashion. You step on the dispenser switches in the proper order. Got it? Yeah, let's do it. A bit of the bubbly, a chill to the bone. Top it with a twister and send a happy pirate home. Well, that don't make any sense. They don't have names on it, do they? Let me look at the contents. Oh, I see. Bubbly. Chill. Twister. I wonder if I only need three things. So hold on, what's bubbly? That's bubbly. And that, oh, that's fire. They need to label these things, man. Zesty lemon liqueur. Proper brain cell to grog cell ratio. You did it again, sir. He may be dark water after all. All right. Here's your last drink. A pinch of lover's greed. A dash of winter's sorrow. Top it off with golden sun and bid thee fair good morrow. I think that might be right, but it could be. Oh, the sun might be fire. I got it wrong. Not bad. A little on the shower. Oh, no, I got it right. Yet the dash of worm stool makes it blissfully reminiscent of a fine chateau via Sante. You did it, sir! Welcome home! Allow me to fetch you the steps. I can't believe I got that right. I thought that could easily have been fire. I only did yellow because it said sun or whatever. And sun is like orange color, so I was like, okay, that makes sense. I wonder if I could take the grind rail there. Probably not. Why is there a grind rail here? I'm glad I figured that out though. <laughs> I had to hear what he said and then put what I heard to like the visuals that they see us saying. Water must have had a way across the lagoon. Come on, we gotta check out the island. I know the game I want to play later on is uh, Sly Cooper. I don't know why, but Ratchet and Clank, Sly Cooper, and Jack and Dexter, I feel like 
are good companion games with each other. And they also don't take that long to beat either. They're pretty short. Short and fun. Just like me. No! Oh. I thought that stuff would burn me alive like acid. What is this thing? The gyro turbine installed, gyro, gyro, euro. <laughs> Seems kind of cool. I don't really know where I'm going here. A wee bit of bubbly. Let's see what he says. I won't sleep in Cherry. Wait a minute. Are you a bit short and furry to the eggs from dark water? Play his concerto of doom and prove you're him. Here be the first part. It's a class classic case as Simon says. Well done. But that just be the first part. Here be the next. I don't know if I I didn't pay attention. I uh, if I remember correctly, the trailer said we're going to get it mid-2022. So I'm assuming maybe June, July, or maybe even May. Oh, I gotta do it again. Oh, okay. I I get you now. Splendid. Splendid. A fine tune that was. I dance the jig, but someone took me legs. There'll be one final part for you to play now, matey. And here it be. Yeah, I do want the House of Dragons now. I've actually rewatched a little bit of the old um, Game of Thrones shows, just like the final episodes of each season. Tis true. Here be the steps you require. Pass and be merry. I think my favorite episode still is when um, the seven go behind the wall. They take a White Walker and they face a whole horde. I still think that might be my favorite episode. But there's just a couple of good ones. I mean, there's a lot of good ones, but like a couple of extremely memorable ones. I take the thing back. I think I did. I am happy that, you know...
Game of Thrones. I hope uh, House of Dragons is the same thing that Game of Thrones did. Is that they hire really good people for like the battle scenes. Because like Battle of the Bastards. Um, it's probably one of my most favorite battle scenes. Because of how epic it was. And then... I think the same people that made that fight also made the fight uh, in the Two Towers for Lord of the Rings too. I could be wrong about that, but I, I feel like I've heard that before. And... Lord of the Rings had some really epic battle fights, too. Also, speaking of Lord of the Rings, I know they're having, like, a show come out soon on Amazon something. I want to see that. Hopefully that's good, too. Okay, so I got one of them right. I meant... As much as I agree that, you know, all these different streaming services are just a more expensive version of cable, um, the one thing I do like about streaming services is that you can cancel them. Like, cable, you just can't cancel one. Like, you can do different packages, but it's still expensive. Because I cycle my streaming services a lot. The only one I've kept on is Netflix. But, like, Disney Plus I've canceled multiple times whenever there's, like, no shows I want to watch. And... Okay, I just want to let them talk. Um, and then re upped it again whenever there's like shows. And the same thing with like Hulu and um, HBO Max and all that stuff. Actually, HBO Max I, I've kept only for one reason because it's actually bundled with my phone. Um, so I really don't have to pay anything extra for that because it was like a promotional deal that I just get it for free. Because I upgraded at the right time. But essentially, a streaming service is just individual cable that's separate. <laughs> I don't know, they, they both have their pros and cons. I just like that I can cancel um, them whenever I felt feel like it. I feel like it's the only way to do streaming nowadays, because it can get really expensive to have all those different subscription services. Like, if you have all of them, it technically is more expensive than just having cable. Oh, I'm maxed out on this. I don't know why I'm still using this. I think I need to use the combustor.
Oh, I thought this was that one big blaster. I like how it just like auto targets all of them. Oh my god, it got hit. Hold on, I'll read what you said in a second. I'm just trying to pay attention so I don't die. I'm like the worst when it comes to these shooting things. Even though it's not that complicated, I just suck at it. Um, having, yeah, no contracts is a good feels. Having three or four or more expensive than cable. Yeah, depending on what package, I definitely agree that it is more expensive. Um, but like, you know, I feel like that's the one part that nobody utilizes, that you can cancel a uh, like a subscription and get it back later. Like, that's what I usually do. I usually, like, cancel subscription and then, like, wait for shows to pile up and then, like, get it again just so I can watch them. Like, there's only a few times where I, I get services just to watch the stuff, like Disney Plus, for example. Like, Mandalorian, I had to resubscribe just to watch the weekly episodes just so I could be up and up so nobody spoiled it for me. Mario Twins movie trailer. I'm actually really interested in that because I know they, they what they casted people right. Like they have Chris Pratt, Jack Black. Um, did they announce who's Luigi? Because I know Chris Pratt's Mario, right? And then Jack Black is Bowser. Oh, these are turrets! Yo, look at that! I know the blaster is better for this, but I just wanted to use that. Is Charlie Day in it? Who, who would Charlie Day be? I feel like they would cast him as Toad, which would be the funniest thing ever. There it is. The Fulcrum Star. Yeah, Cable isn't necessarily evil. Like, if it wasn't for Cable, subscription services could do whatever they want with their prices. Like, for example, Netflix will keep hiking their prices up if they have no competitors. Like, competition is good because it keeps them all in check. But it'd be funny if Charlie Day was, uh, in Mario. <laughs> I'm picturing it now, like, I'm picturing him doing, like, a whole, like, conspiracy thing like he did for Always Sunny. Or doing, like, a horrible boss's take. What the heck are these things? What? Those are creepy little worms. You know, I really don't want to use the combustor here, but I'm going to have to use it. Oh, jeez! I can't believe I saved myself. I don't know how I did a backflip to save myself. That was really cool. Ugh. I got lucky. This game is making my heart race. <laughs> and it's making my heart race for the weird reasons, because, like, it's more of me worried about my performance, because I could easily kill myself. Do I drop down or jump over? Oh! 
See? There you go. I told you. <laughs> this game makes me nervous from because I suck. Alright, let's see if I can get past this without taking too many hits. Oh my god, dude. Yeah. I know this is, is going to sound blasphemous, because I, I know that um, a lot of people love like Jurassic Park slash Jurassic World. But I like Jurassic World much better than I like Jurassic Park. I didn't really like Jurassic Park. I know it's going to sound bad, but I didn't like Jurassic Park at all. But Jurassic World, though, on the other hand, I like it because Chris Pratt's in it. I think he's funny. Man, I couldn't get up for a second. I'm not saying Jurassic Park is bad. It's just, I don't know. It just didn't hit, um, catch my interest too much. But Jurassic World did for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, it would be... I. I'm definitely interested to see the conclusion of Jurassic World, because um, I heard they're going to make another hybrid dinosaur like they did in the second movie, and I just want them to go crazy. I want them to make like super crazy, like um, modified dinosaurs. And they also have like a cool world too, like they made almost like a prehistoric extinction level in Jurassic World 2, and I'd love to see more of that in uh, the third one. That should be enough light. What's over here? That looked interesting. I don't know what's going on, but I'm taking this over here. I bet I can't, like, throw this thing. Oh, I can't throw it! What?! <laughs> okay, let me throw this one. Oh, they just keep spawning more of them. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I forgot to swing. Alright, how do you swim again? There you go. Oh, uh, you like them all, no bias either way. Um, oops, hold on. Let me kill these guys quickly. Did I send out one of these things? Yeah, no, I didn't. What's this do? Oh yeah, like I definitely like you know same thing with like the original Star Wars. Like the original Star Wars, I'm not as much of a fan of compared to like the prequels, but like compared to compared to uh, like what they have now, like they did a lot of work and effort to make it look as good as they did. Like I appreciate the technical stuff. It's just other like story wise, it didn't catch me as much as the other one did. Yeah, I know Jeff Goldblum was in it. Um, I think he was in the second one too, right? Jurassic World.
I don't know where I'm supposed to go now. The tornado's kind of blocking my view. Oh, I see. Oops. Wait, now I'm really confused. Put that down there. I think I have to do something with these guys. But what? I do not know. Oh, I don't think I need to even go that way. Was Samuel Jackson in uh, Jurassic Park 1? For some reason, I don't remember him in those movies. Oh, I've died. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm not like saying anything bad about the movies. It just didn't catch me. Like, I, I know they're great and... It's just, you know how there's certain things that catch you more than others? Um, unfortunately, Jurassic Park wasn't one of those movies that, like, really caught me like everybody else. Can't believe I dropped that little guy. Did it really inspire them to do that? I feel like they've been doing that long before that movie, but you know, I feel like it might have inspired more people to get into that field compared to what they had before. Cause I know that we've been into like gene splicing and all that stuff and cloning since like before the Cold War. Probably even World War Two. God, I hate these things. I hate these so much. Now, which way do I go? Dang it, man! I was trying to look. I was trying to move my camera. My guy moved instead. Which way am I supposed to go, man? And Jurassic Park, I think I was born for, born then, right? Like, when did that come out? 1990 something. I was around. Okay, so this is not where I'm supposed to go. If you really want to hear something weird, I really like Alfred Hitchcock movies, and those are way before my time. Like, way, way, way before my time. They're probably even way before my mom's time, too. But I don't know, like the storytelling in Alfred Hitchcock movies I just love. I think they're really good. Just because I'm young-ish doesn't mean I don't respect the older craft. Did you just back away? I think these don't go back up after like a certain time. Oh, I can't do another one? That's lame. Oh, that is extra lame. I'm trying to toss to the side and it's like, nah, I can't do it.
Yo, where did my little guy go? My little lightning bulb thing guy went away. I wonder if he got sucked up in the tornado. Alright, man. Well, enjoy The Witcher 2. And let me know what you think. Now, where did this take me? I feel like a big battle is about to start. Given far too meddlesome to be left breathing the captain's air, me hearty. Any final words before I nail your carcass to the pike? Uh, <laughs> I suppose his bribe was not the question. Please do not kill me. I'm an endangered species. <laughs> Imagine if you chose the right dialogue and he didn't attack you. That'd be really funny. Yo, look at this thing go to work, man. This thing absolutely went ham on those guys. I feel like these guys are going to come back alive again. Wait, did I do something wrong? There, friend. I just saw Darkwater's fleet set sail for Hulafar Island. You must have rattled his cage pretty good. Matter of fact, I recently acquired this here Alpha Disruptor. Wouldn't mind letting it go for a reasonable price. Interested? 50,000 volts. Huh. Sure, why not? Careful with this thing. It is ranked number three on the Polaris Compendium of Ridiculously Overpowered Weapons. I wonder if this is like the Rhino in this game. Maybe not. Maybe it's like the, um... That second blaster, like the pseudo-legendary... Or pseudo... Um... Ultimate weapon. The dangerous uh, uh, dangers of Darkwater Cove, our hero had one final chance to recover the star. But the courageous Captain Slag had no intention of going quietly. He took the Lombax's female friend captive, which of course multiplies the drama by like four. Preach, what have I told you about using math? That there's grounds for a plank walking. Uh, sorry, Captain. <sighs> And now, the final chapter in our gripping saga. Events do not occur in real time. <laughs> Wait, are we at the last part of this game already? Hold, circle the charge up, then release it to fire? Interesting. I almost want to test one of these out. Welcome aboard, me hearty. Ye come in a fair breeze. I was just about to gut your dear Sally like a Marquesian trout. <laughs> this is your last chance, Slag. Just hand over Tawin and the star. Tis a fool who thinks he can reason with a man whose head he once took. Might be wanting to return the favor. <laughs> Ready the locker, Davy. Slag's got one more for ya. I've been waiting for this day a long time, me hearty. Try not to die too quickly. <laughs> We're dining on Lombax tonight.
I didn't know if there was more enemies here. Oh, we'll just go ahead and get some more ammo. What are these things? Oh, do I have to throw it at that? Probably. I think I already did that. Try a pirate skull. Hurry. Well, I was already ahead of that. <laughs> I wonder if this would work on that. No. That was worth a try. I hear fighting. What is she shooting at? <laughs> you know, there's a spot of irony in all this madness. For once, it's you who's trying to steal from me. After all, it ain't your fulcrum star. It's mine! Oh, look at this! Can I jump over that? I can't do any damage to him. How do I fight this guy? Oh, that's how you do it. Okay. I gotta get a skull marked by death. Double jump across. Oh my god, huh? I'm on the outside of this thing. Let me in. This seems like the main ship. Taking some hits, man. I thought it was gonna go down quickly. I just kind of like took everything. What? Oh. Some 
avoiding ye, eh? Wait, I'm so confused. Why didn't that like register on him? I'm fine with dying there because I kind of missed my alpha shots. It's not level five yet. I wish I didn't take those extra hits there. Oh, I almost went off with them. <laughs> I'm just pushing them off. Oh, be careful. Oh, how did he wait? Hold up. How did he get back on the ship? I seen him fall. Star. Ah, oh, familiar threats from a tired adversary. Let's end this quarrel once and for all. The pirate way. By playing dirty. I'm trying to see if he drops any skulls, because that's how I, that's what I used to get him. Time the crew. This tornado and this nano launcher are like the best things ever. It's like the ultimate ad control. I missed.
I don't know how I got hit by the last one. I was like, I jumped over everything. Get the skull real quick. Oh no! I can't really see the guy. I'll go back to the side again. Come on, man. Just dodge everything and we'll be fine. I think it's time you met some of the crew. Lads! There we go. Come on, man. Is this it right here? Yo, I just got lucky. <laughs> long fall <laughs> and so after several lucky shots and a few cheat codes the Lumbax destroyed the union between Captain Slag and Darkwater aye and good riddance going to the bathroom was far too awkward the Lumbax returned to Hulifar to claim his booty the location of his missing first mate This works. The 
Signal lost. Coordinates acquired for Brigus Nebula. Nefarious. Hang on, Clank. I'm coming. With the location of his missing mate in hand, our hero took off into space. Little did he know, the greatest challenge he would ever face lay just ahead. <sighs> the end. Want to hear it again? I didn't want to hear it the first time, you mangy old bucket of balls. All right, all right. No need to get cross. I'll quit yelling when you find me a new body. Now start rowing. Row! 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 Oh, let me guess. Row? Shut up! Row! 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 Put your back into it! Row! 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 <laughs> Well, that was pretty good. Besides, like, you know, the combat, which I'm not going to say is bad because, you know, at the time it was probably really good because I remember the other ones being exactly like that and I'm just used to more modern stuff. Um, that was pretty good. Uh, it was really, really short. And I don't know. I liked it. <laughs> I can't really say it. Besides it being short and me being bad at the combat, I actually liked it because it did give you like a little um like bridge connecting tools of destruction to crack in time just like how um what's it called ratchet deadlock gave you a little bridge onto this as well which i like that i don't know what I'm, what game i'm gonna play next i might do ratchet and clank a crack in time into the nexus or i might actually pick up deadlock on the ps3 uh, store and play that because that, that one would be a, a fun one to go back to but I'm glad I played this one this is the only Ratchet and Clank game I have not yet played and now that I've beaten it I can officially put it under my banner of completed Ratchet and Clank game so now I'm caught up with every single title in the series but that was fun and there's so many games I want to play man there's like you know Kraken Time, Into the Nexus, Deadlock, because those are the ones that have trophies I still need. But I also want to play like Sly Cooper, Jack and Dexter, and many, many more. So I don't know. I don't know what's next. There's so many things to choose from. You might switch it up, you know, do like a Jack, Sly Cooper game, then go back to Ratchet. Who knows? But I'll let the credits play.